hello everyone today we are going to look into how to grab objects like this and uh, placed in another place that we need so we can oh yeah, we can grab objects like this and drop wherever we need so this is also a mechanism that we have in portal so that's why i think of adding that into this project uh, yeah apart from that we have already worked on these portal effects and we can shoot through portals and if i shoot here it takes it from this one and the character can also jump from the portals so yeah let's see how to implement this part today and before we start with the tutorial i'd like to remind you that you can download uh, the project files of all the tutorials and the systems that I had developed in my channel for the membership of Patreon Club without a limit. So you'll have the link in the description below. And let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I need is setting up an input uh, to pick up objects. So I'll just duplicate one of these input actions or you can just create one input input action I'll call it IA pick up or drop oh we can't have slash oh I'll call it grab right now Let's go to this IMC weapons and add grab as the key. I'll use F. Now, um, let me open the weapon component. So here, uh, first we need to have a location to attach the objects that we pick up. For that, well, here we have ammo socket. I'll add another socket under ammo socket. Attach. I'll copy that name. Uh, I'll leave it now here. So we have these inputs. This is shoot middle. So I'll add I a wrap event. Now what I need to do is do a line trace in forward direction and detect the objects that I can pick up. So we can use this logic to get the forward direction. Actually, I can convert this to a macro. Get ammo point because this socket is called ammo. That's why I use the name ammo point. And here this location and the other one rotation. Now mm, I'll use that macro get ammo point. So here what I need to do is align trace by channel and the starting point is obviously this one and the end should be in forward direction so from this rotation get forward vector and multiply it by let's say I don't want to project too far so maybe just 
thousand units and add to this the starting point it should give me a point in front of the paper so to check that I'll add a debug type as well now if I press F I should get a line trace yeah I do that part is working uh, wait let's see how far it goes hmm. maybe that's too much because I don't want to be able to grab an object that is too far in front of me so perhaps we should reduce this to 500 right now if we hit an object right let's break the hit result and get the component so i only want to be able to pick up physics enabled objects because these uh, chamfer cubes are physics enabled simulate physics set to true where is it here simulate physics so otherwise i will have no way of distinguishing which type of objects that i can pick up which is not so hit component simulate is simulating physics so if yes first in order to be able to pick up i have to uh, disable physics simulation so set simulate no oh sorry this one set simulate physics to false and then uh, attach the actor actor to component so this weapon component is a child of a skeletal mesh component so this is a component so i should be able to use self as the parent component and the socket name here i need this attached socket right now i keep world location and rotation and everything all right okay let's test if that attachment works yeah it does and it goes through the ob uh, other objects as well which is something we need to address but first let's get the attachment and detachment working so how to drop this wait let's check another one as well something like here right now to drop it uh, here i'll promote this to a variable i'll call it grabbed object okay uh, now here let me move this a bit get the grabbed object 
and convert to a validated kit and only grab if we don't already have a grabbed object so basically do this okay uh, let me collapse this because this part is getting bigger grab objects right now here if we already have an object that is grabbed i can do this mm. set simulate what subject i we get here okay so that means not this um gonna have to change this to component so i'll change this to actor component object reference and use this as the grabbed object now here set simulate what is this type actor component oh still we can't simulate physics okay because in order to simulate physics what type of object it has to be a oh, primitive component object reference all right primitive component object reference okay compile no errors set simulate physics set it back to true and we just need to clear this grabbed object so set with none now it should drop the object and let's check yep press f f again dropped oh i can't pick up again why i can press f again hmm. something is wrong uh i think here i should use started otherwise it continuously fires that event yeah press f okay that's correct Could take it somewhere and drop it okay i can push these subjects as well all right so yeah now we can carry objects and place on different places and we still have a problem of this it goes through other colliders which is something we need to fix but i will address that in the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for download in patreon page i'll leave the link in description see you in the next episode goodbye